I'm Oliver Bennett, international racing driver. Ollie Bennett getting out front, gets a little squirrely Dan there. Coming from an entrepreneurial background, managing renewable businesses when I was younger, and the most public for me now is obviously Excite Energy. Welcome to episode one of Fuel for Founders. I'm your host, Oliver Bennett, and I wanted to start this podcast really from my journey and experiences running Excite Energy and a few other businesses that I'm involved in. I'm sure we'll go into details in this podcast, but what I've really experienced in my life running different businesses is the network you create around you can have a massive effect really on the future of your business in really your motivation and your experience along that journey. So Fuel for Founders for me is understanding what excites people and really drives them to start a business. I think there's lots of reasons why people will start a business, whether it's financial reasons, um, a passion project, or you simply, you know, you see a gap in the market and a fit for a product that you'd like. So I've managed to use my network and get founders from all different areas. We've had people from fitness, people from sports, nutrition, people obviously in the FMCG industry, fast moving consumer goods like myself to talk about their journeys. And I think I've been really inspired by some of these stories. You've seen ways of going to market. We've seen different ways of how entrepreneurs create a an excitement around their brand and try and build people to be motivated in, in the end to purchase them. Um, and we've gone right through to the finance of these things. How do you get investment and how do you actually then make a brand consistent? So yeah, it's going to be an interesting sort of journey with these people. I'm hopefully going to get them back on where we can see what's happened to them and how their journey is sort of growing. And hopefully that'll provide you a lot of value, but a little bit about me. So I'm Oliver Bennett. I am the host of this podcast. I'm probably more known online as being an international racing driver. I race across the world in EV rallycross now. So these are a thousand horsepower electric cars. I started racing when I was very small in motocross. It was something that I just grew up and loved doing. It was a passion for me and it was a passion that turned profession, I guess. Um, it was part of what I just got used to and it was something, it was no different than people going to play football on a Saturday. I would go and, and ride my motocross bike. So that grew and grew and grew. And as that passion developed, it obviously become a professional hobby for me slash career. Um, when now I'm really fortunate, I get to race across the world in these electric cars, racing with Jensen Button, who was my co-driver, well, not co-driver, I guess you'd call it, um, racing partner in the other car for this start of this season, um, which came through a re building a relationship with, with him at Extreme E, a series I'd done before. Uh, founded by Alejandro, the guy that started Formula E. It was quite an impressive series, and even that's quite an Im impressive business to see how he's built that uh, ecosystem of sports. But, yeah, racing with Jensen and now racing with Chris Meek, WRC World Rally legend, still owns the world, holds the world record, sorry, for Rally Finland. Super nice guy. Pedal to the metal, absolutely flat. You've probably seen a video, I can put one here, of his car drifting through some car parks where he's left the stage. Two corners of the finish. Incredibly... The car was able to continue despite his disorientation as he drove around the car park to get back on the stage. Absolutely incredible scenes and the clock was still ticking. With 37 seconds in hand though, he would do just enough to hold on for his first win of 2017. But that's given me a real sense of understanding how you can leverage your network. I've met a lot of people by, uh, by being able to be in that racing industry. Um, we're launching Exile Energy in the States in the minute that I'll come on to. But where did that leave me with some of the businesses? Um, coming from an entrepreneurial background, my father was an entrepreneur when he was young, started in the car business. Um, he managed to end up owning his home car garage and moved into property and some other different plastic renewable type businesses. And that's really where I grew up around entrepreneurship and really understanding this you know, you've, you've got to take risks in life, um, especially when you're younger, there's less to lose. You've got further, you know, not so far to fall. You haven't got commitments, kids, children, um, and bills and different things. Uh, and I just took that in my stride really. And I think managing renewable businesses when I was younger, property moving on from that. And the most public for me now is obviously Excite Energy, which is uh, a business I'm really excited about. I like brands. Um, it's the only business I run that has a brand. So it's been interesting for me to try and grow this brand internationally. It hasn't been easy. Um, we've learned a lot along the way in terms of brand development, core audiences, how you shape your brand to be interesting to the audience that you're trying to target and really creating your customer personas. But Excite for me came from... I was a lover of nootropics. I really wanted a nootropics type of product for me. Racing, we used to take um, different types of mushrooms and things that were allowed by the Federation, didn't come into any drug classifications. 
it would allow you to basically think faster um, and, and hopefully win the races was the idea behind that. So that's where the idea of Nootropics came from me. But I was also racing with other energy drinks, outdated energy drinks, I would say, that um, you know you can't read the ingredients, you didn't know what this was in them, they weren't particularly healthy. And I think I just sat there and thought, there has to be a better alternative to this. There has to be something healthier, more functional, that gives you focus in comparing these Nootropics. So I guess that's a bit of entrepreneurism that you see there. I, there was a product fit for me that I wanted, there was a market opportunity. Um, I understood how brands in the space grew and how they looked cool and exciting, which is probably where the name come from. And I just went deep into it. I didn't know anything about the drinks industry. I knew nothing about FMCG. I didn't know how to make a drink, how to formulate anything. Um, and it's something I went through with my business partner, Megan, who, you know, we just started researching the industry, looking at consultants who can help us make uh, different drinks. We've got our own laboratory now where we test ingredients and things. But it was really just from that need of wanting something myself and thinking there's a gap in the market. And I think that's probably what we're going to come on to in this podcast with all of my guests. And it's something that I've been learning from them. Um, there's been some great guests from all different industries. And I think you're going to learn a lot from this. But that's just a quick bit about me. This is a short intro to the podcast, a short episode one. I may do some one-off um, episodes myself just showing you the journey of Excite and what I've been learning from this podcast. I'm sure we'll get co-founder Megan on to get her experience experience um, as a female co-founder to a international brand and see what she thinks. But as I said, launching in the US now, it's a big step for us. It's a big moment for the brand. We're trying to bring products to entrepreneurs, creatives and sportsmen like myself. So check out some links below where you can see our products. I'm sure we'll give you a little discount code below where you can get it. Subscribe, comment, like and join this podcast. I think it's going to be an exciting one, but let's get into the first episode. <laughs> 